Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Puppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is the Piggy Bank. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in this video isn't necessarily into the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a cool creepy story that we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And last, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameJube because it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Also, do be sure to leave a like on this video because we might be doing another community character live stream again in the near future. But that all depends on how many likes we get on the videos going forward, so the more likes we have, the more likely we'll do another live stream. So be sure to like and stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the backstory of The Piggy Bank. So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we took a look at the character of Topsy Turvy. Topsy Turvy was a part of the old timey range of toys. This included more simplistic toys, but in the end, these toys were anything but simple. So in the last video, the player did their best to survive against the dangerous Topsy Turvy. If the player was out in the open for far too long, then Topsy would have gobbled them up in a heartbeat. So the player had to act smart and get the better of Topsy Turvy. In the end, they lodged an air canister inside his mouth and triggered an explosion with their activated green hand. They finally had bested Topsy Turvy, but in the end, also severely damaged their green grab pack hand as well. Now the player has to locate another hand in order to survive whatever comes next. And the toy character that the player will encounter next looks innocent enough but something much more sinister lurks below the surface. And this strange toy character is the Piggy Bank. The Piggy Bank is another product in the old timey toy line. Simply put, they were just a simple run of the mill Piggy Bank. Children would receive these Piggy Banks and it would teach them a valuable lesson of saving their money. Whenever they could, they would deposit a few coins here and there until the Piggy Bank was full. When the time came, they would need to smash the poor piggy with a hammer and claim all of their hard-earned savings inside. But at Playtime Co, they couldn't just simply make an average piggy bank. Knowing them, they always take it a step further. Whenever the children deposit their spare change, the piggy bank would make an oink sound. This was quite cute, but also quite strange. When customers reported smashing open the piggy bank, there wasn't any hardware inside of the piggy. No wires, battery, speaker, just nothing. So what was making that oinking sound? <coughs> the only ones who knew were Playtime Co. And they would never reveal the twisted secret behind the piggy bank. In the testing phase, they decided to keep the original piggy bank. As it was with all the other toys, the original version of the piggy bank grew much larger. And with that, their greed for coins grew much bigger as well. Something inside them had a burning desire to obtain as many coins as they could. If they weren't satisfied with the number of coins they got, strange things would start to happen. In order to meet the toy's demands, the company designed oversized metal coins to place inside of the piggy bank. This worked for the time being. When they placed the coins inside the piggy bank, workers reported it was like something was grabbing them from within. But not many people believed these wild claims but the workers couldn't keep feeding the piggy bank forever. After everyone mysteriously disappeared, there was no one left to deposit the coins. So the piggy bank was left to sit there and get more and more angry as time went on. They just sat there and waited till they could receive coins once again. So now we return to the player. They had finally located the spare parts department for the grab packs. This was where they could grab a new grab hand, but the choices were quite slim. It appears that all the other unique hands were taken. There was only one type left, and this was the mag hand. This had the ability to magnetize any metal object. Huh, maybe this could come in handy. Regardless, it was the only hand available, so they didn't really have much of a choice. The player presses the button and the machine gets to work manufacturing the brand new hand. After the whole process was completed, the new shiny hand was all theirs. This new mag hand really was shiny. It was made of a bright magnetic metal. The player extends the hand and it was able to magnetically stick to any metal surface. The player no longer needs a handle to grab anymore. They can simply stick to anything that's made of metal. The player also activates the hand whilst it's retracted and metal objects fly directly to it. This could definitely come in handy. 
So as the player makes their way out of the spare parts area, they come up against something quite strange. It looked like a large piggy bank. It was standing in the way of the exit. Well, it looked like there was no way of getting out of here with this thing in the way. On the piggy bank was a note. It tells the player that they need to find 10 large coins to place in the piggy bank, and only then will it move out of the way and let the player through. So now the player goes around this area and looks for the large coins. Whenever they see one of the coins, they can use their mag hand to attract it to their hand. Due to the size of the coins, the player can only hold one at a time. They take it over to the piggy bank and deposit the first coin. When they do, the bank makes a strange sound. It's like a pig's oink, but much darker. Regardless, the player has to hunt down the other coins. So they repeat the process of finding coins and depositing them one by one. Any coins that were in a hard to reach place would be simple to grab with the new mag hand. Finally, the player finds the last coin. They take it over to the piggy bank and deposit it. But the piggy bank isn't moving. The only thing that happens is the bank lets out a deep strange sound. Then all of a sudden, two strange tentacles break through the eyes of the piggy bank. They whip and lash the player if they get too close. What was the player going to do now? If this strange piggy bank wasn't going to move, then the player would move it themselves. They get an idea and put it into action. They charge up the mag hand as high as it goes. The hand is now pulsing with magnetic energy. They point it at the piggy bank and magnetize all the coins inside. The piggy bank starts to rumble as all the coins rattle around. Finally, with enough force, all the coins burst out of its face. The piggy bank has had its whole front face smashed to pieces. All the coins pour out and something else pours out as well. A large mass of tentacles crawl out of the hollow shell of the piggy bank. If the player was going to get through this monstrosity, then they were going to have to destroy it. So in this final boss battle, the player would need to magnetize one coin at a time and launch it back at the piggy bank. Every time that they do, they would damage their porcelain body. They would need to shoot their body enough times till it fully breaks. But they can't get too close or else the tentacles will grab them and pull them inside the hollow shell. Once the player has fired enough coins at the monstrosity, their hollow body shatters into pieces. The tentacles without a hollow shell to live in scatter in every direction. Shortly after, they all shrivel and wither away to nothing. It seems that the intense light was what defeated them. The player is now free to exit this area and move on to the next location. Their new grab hand would definitely come in handy, and hopefully it can continue to help them through any tough situation that they face. But whatever it is they'll face next, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the piggy bank, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.